Hello. Hello YouTube, my name is Saturn EV and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving a tutorial on how you can use your cell phone number via Bluetooth making calls with an older landline device like this one. So this would be a good tutorial to, for you if let's say you got rid of your landline service or VOIP number but you still want to be able to use the same device you don't you don't really want to get rid of it let's say but you still want to make phone calls with your cell phone number I'm going to show you how to do that via Bluetooth in this video so the device that I recommend that you get for this process is this thing right here this is an X-Link Bluetooth gateway device so in my personal opinion and in my humble opinion this device honestly is the best for doing something like this because the X-Link honestly has just been very reliable and whenever I pick up the phone when this thing rings the call is instant right it's just there um, and also when I hang up the call just hangs up on on the cell phone as well there are other devices that you can use like a Celta Jack which I have used in the past and it works okay it's a little bit cheaper than the X-Link. So the Celta Jack, I believe, is about $20, if I'm not mistaken. You can look for it on Amazon or eBay or something. And the X-Link Bluetooth gateway might vary, so depending on where you get the device from. So for me, I bought the X-Link gateway off of eBay or something like that and I think I paid like maybe 60 bucks or so for it again you just kinda have to shop around until you find a decent price that you want and in the condition and so forth so but for this tutorial I'm just gonna show you how to set up an X-Link Bluetooth gateway okay so since I already have my X-Link set up obviously as you can kind of see the, the standby light right there I'm just going to forget the device on my cell phone from my Bluetooth settings and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unplug this like so and then and then basically I'm just going to kind of give a basic overview on how to set this thing up before doing anything like once you start taking this thing out of the box and all that I would highly recommend looking at your instruction manual because there could very well be some um, instructions in there that I just don't cover in this video as I'm just kind of giving a basic overview on how to do this kind of setup okay so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is you're just gonna to to go ahead and plug in the AC adapter to your gateway and a couple of things might happen so in this case since this is already kinda of my second take <laughs> shooting this clip the light was blinking as that happened when I just forgot the device on my on my phone but since this is the second time that I plugged in the AC adapter it's not blinking at all as you can see which is fine so in either event that you get a flashing light or the lights don't flash at all you're just going to hold any one of the three buttons until it starts flashing rapidly and you're going to want to hold the button for about six to eight seconds okay and then you should see it rapidly flash as you can see and then once you see that you're just going to go you're just going to want to go to your phone and then I'm going to unlock it there we go and then just go into your Bluetooth settings and then as it flashes you should see an X-Link gateway pop up at the bottom And now the pin, usually um, it should be four zeros. And then hit pair. And then if the four zeros don't work, then sometimes one, two, three, four will work as well. And basically, guys, that is how you set this thing up. It is really simple. It is not hard at all to do. Pretty much anyone who wants to use an old landline phone can do this method. It's really kind of inexpensive for the most part um, like I said the price will, will definitely vary depending on where you buy the device but like I said the X-Link is what I would go for
All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dial a number right here, and we'll just see if it works. So we'll pick up the handset. And you can see the number dialing on the phone. Hi, you have reached the HP.com customer service department. To help us continuously improve, this call may be recorded. If you purchased for personal or home office use, press 1. If you have already purchased and need technical service or installation help with hardware or warranty, press 1 for HP technical support. Do you need to set up a return or exchange for a product you just purchased from the HP.com store? Press 2. Would you like to know the status of HP.com? For the fastest service with a return request, so really the sound quality overall is not bad. You can hear the other person perfectly. I talked to my mother on this phone just a little bit ago earlier today and we and it, it worked great. So anyways, um, I will leave a link down in the description for an Amazon link if any of you are interested in getting one of these. And that is basically the tutorial. So I hope this was helpful, and you can leave a comment down below if any of you have any questions, and I will, I will uh, be there to assist you. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.